Welcome! All right, class, settle down, settle down. Welcome to Female Anatomy for People Who Has Never Seen a Woman 101. You can also use the acronym FAB for the one. Really rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? So today. Yes, we have a question. Is it correct that women can grow boobs by doing boob curls? Uh, okay, yeah. Um. Oh, we have another question. Professor Gerkenstein, is it correct that lesbians can't get periods because they don't get pregnant? Yeah, you know, you know, I quit. I quit. I quit. <laughs> Just kidding. Good evening, ladies, lasses, and lazos. Welcome to the Click. You smell absolutely amazing today. We're not quitting anytime soon. We have so many memes to get into, and I hope you enjoy them, Rebecca. Oh my god, Rebecca. Are you here for the memes, Rebecca? I do hope you're here for the memes. It's a very valuable class. It counts towards your degree in uh, poopoology. Enjoy. It is weird people are sexualizing hashtag turning red. I got my period in fifth grade. I was a child when I got it, like most children. I looked up the average age. It's 12. That's a child. Therefore, it's not an adult topic. You are supposed to know about them before they happen. Doesn't mean a cartoon needs to be made about it. How many cartoons are literally about a boy's journey to becoming a man? Those aren't about boys discovering how to do the self naughties or getting their first hard experience or Splooshy dream. Oh, oh, why are we talking about this? Also, why why is this comparable? It's not the same thing, please. I do not understand the pragmatism behind that. It's so wild. Here is a bodily function that starts happening, you know, slightly before the teens. But we can talk about it until 18. Until then, it should be a hidden mystery because boys do other things that are not comparable in the least. Twitter, you have done it again. Never stop providing content. Thank you. My ex and I once got into an argument because he insisted that everyone gets their period at the end of the month and I told him that's not true. This is why I can't talk about feminism with you. He said. <laughs> Why do you think, like, tracker apps exist <laughs> if that was the case? It would be so easy to sell the app, though. It's always 100% accurate. Ah, oh, gee, it always starts at the 25th of each month. Oh! Sky Sports News. West Brom women's team will now wear navy shorts for the rest of the season due to the concerns of the players wearing white shorts while on their periods. The club hopes by removing this worry, there'll be an improvement in the team performance. <laughs> if they were fit enough to be elite athletes, why would they be having periods? <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> Checkmate, how do you respond to that, pro athletes? <laughs> <coughs> You remember that Simpson episode where Homer gets really smart and then feels incredibly disconnected from everyone because he's just so much smarter than everyone? Basically, he's average and everyone around him is really silly. It feels like we could sell a service where I just read these posts and it likes, it's supposed to lower your IQ points so you, <laughs> so you fit in on... <laughs> God, that's sad. I got hospitalized yesterday. While I was unconscious at the bed, the doctor decided to tell my mom, having this much leg hair is completely unnatural. She should check that out. And here's the hair on, on, on said legs. It's really spinning out of control, isn't it? You know, it's serious issues. You have like cancer, you have STDs, and then you have a few hairs on your legs. Oh my, what a life-threatening condition. If a girl is on birth control and she likes you, consider it an insult. Birth control literally alters a woman's naughty preference to find beta males more attractive. <laughs> this is not an opinion or joke, it's real fact. <laughs> it's Twitter science, isn't it? Oh, the most trustworthy source. I mean, not even to mention like the whole alpha beta thing that's basically just astrology for, for Twitter men, but also... <laughs> If someone doesn't want to have a baby just randomly popping out, it, it means that anyone they could possibly be interested in is beta males. But you say it like even even entertaining the thought for a second. Nowhere in this does it say that taking birth control would make alpha males less attractive. So how do you know whether you're an alpha or a beta just because she finds you attractive when she's on birth control? Even if you follow their own line of logic, it doesn't add up. It is silly. I am sorry, but I'm never dating bi women or have a hookup history involving mostly men or have a heavy preference towards men. They can't hold a proper relationship with another woman because of years of being conditioned to appeal to men and put their fellow women down for male approval. Wait, but aren't you putting, aren't you putting another woman down though on, on social media right now though? Also, even if you're not one of those bi women, don't date or sleep with other women until you wait at least a month after sleeping with a man. We can literally tell by the smell of your body if you slept with a man, and we want none of that pee pee residue. I know some of you will give me popo over it, but it's I don't give a frick. <laughs> 
this person, unironically, would get along well with those, like, alpha Twitter men who claims that, you know, oh, the, the male splooshies can be inactive for 27 years and suddenly give you the bub even though someone else did, did not. Yeah, it's like, it's like those wild biological stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, my ex GF. This is someone's ex just randomly ranting about them after breakup. No. Oh, that makes it so much cringier. Oh, no, please, please. I, I'm assuming you're supposed to be an adult. No. Oh, what up, Squad Fam? It is November. That means Fitness Santa's in the house, and it's Raycons for everyone. Yeah, testosterone. <laughs> When you're looking for a gift everyone needs, Raycons are the way to go. Their wireless earbuds, headphones, and speakers offer premium sound, useful features, an almost custom, comfortable fit, and up to 54 hours of battery life. Are you struggling to figure out a holiday gift for a loved one, your mom, dad, friend, coworker, gamer, or just yourself? Well, Raycon has you covered. And as the person gifting them, you are gonna love that they start at half the price of other premium audio brands. Or just get a gift for everyone and get 30% off by shopping Raycon's holiday bundles. Personally, I love the all-star bundle. A pair of everyday earbuds and a pair of fitness earbuds for all your everyday and gym needs. Yum. So, are you looking for a nice way to support a channel or buy a gift for yourself or a loved one? Well, I got you covered. Click the link in the description or go to buyraycon.com slash to click and use the code EARLYBF to get 20% off site-wide. Or save even bigger and get 30% off Raycon's exclusive holiday bundles. The Raycon website also offers buy now, pay later options. Thank you so much, Raycon, for sponsoring this video. And now, back to the memes. Mwah. LOL, penis residue. Out of curiosity, are you bi who ended it? I am bi and she ended our relationship two months ago because she found my old messages with my male FWBs. And apparently I'm not the pure sapphic woman she thought I was. What, what did she think bi means? One wonders. Oh, she did know I had naughty encounters with men in the past, but she said she didn't like how I was degrading myself to make some guys pee pee. Um, the blah, blah 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 intimate stuff. I was literally sending naughty texts and not writing a script for a PG-13 Disney cartoon. Wait, <laughs> wait, so someone... <laughs> Oh my god, this is, this is so, oh, that's so bad. My school made a rule that female students can't tie their hair at school or in public, as it could naughtily excite men by showing the nape of their neck. Are we really back to this where, like, flashing ankles is considered a, like, highly naughty graphic activity? Oh, them ankles. The other rule is that female students with long hair must tie their hair, but they can tie the hair at school. Is this sexist? I am confused. You're not allowed to tie your hair back, but you also have to? I think they're saying that long hair must be tied back while at school, but you can't put it up at school, only before you get there. Oh, it's one of those rules, like the motion of like, mm, putting up your hair is considered way too naughty, but you still have to have your hair up by the time you get there. <laughs> but if, okay, what happens if the hair falls down during the day? <laughs> what happens then? This is facts. <laughs> when you know a tweet starts with facts, then it's most likely not facts. Women perform alchemy for us. Men face the world, they absorb damage. Women absorb it during the naughty times and cleanse herself during period. Naughtiness and period equals man's emotional laundry. But, but you know, that happens without any kind of relationship activity. What about lesbian couples? Does that mean they face the world together and then extract the toxicity of the world on each other? And what? This. <laughs> what? <laughs> So basically, a woman's time of the month is leftover male frustration. That's the whole theory. That that sounds like so gross and so incredibly wild at the same time. I swear to God, you can make like wild movies about this. It is absolutely bonkers. What kind of backwards medieval sorcery is this? One thing I also love about it is that doesn't these bodily functions happen, you know, w without any kind of intimate relationship? Wouldn't that just debunk the whole thing? Like a like like a child could debunk this. <laughs> What? Why is this being posted so confidently? R slash cinema. Why is female private parts in movies always hairy? Watching movies and occasionally naughty scenes? I notice that actresses always have some private parts covered by hair to the point you can't see them. Especially in 1980s movies. Was, was it all a censorship thing? Yes, you sweet summer child. There, there, headpats. I know the world is very scary. It contains hair and other horrible things. But, you know, hair does indeed exist. But don't worry, it's only in the movies, okay? Body hair isn't real. It was... <laughs> it's... <laughs>
Yes. Oh, I know I'm gonna botch this word already. Here we go. When we are talking about inserting catheters, and one of the guys in my class interrupted the lecture and said, So basically the men have to go through hell, but the females get to be pleasured. Equality. Age 22. I wish I had a better body than this. Age 32. I wish I had a body I complained about 10 years ago. Why is 30 years always shown as 60 years when it comes to women? Also, what is that face? Oh no. <laughs> oh, I, I just turned 30. I feel so affected by this. Oh no, please. I am not that old yet. I still have a good couple of years left. This might be one of the worst attempts at an empowering message I have ever seen. I love her work and I get what she's saying here. I've had the exact same thought. I can't believe I used to complain about my body at 19. It was so much better compared to my body now. So I appreciate the message as he attaches to the picture in the caption. Body acceptance doesn't have to rely on looking good, whatever that means for a person. Uh, the art illustration looks like a wikiHow illustration to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I can kind of get behind the message. You know, it's, it's easy to complain about what you have now. The grass is always greener on the other side and looking in any direction in your life really can make you dissatisfied where you're at now. I think a main thing in life in general is not to get hung up on things that you're not 100% satisfied with, because the truth is that it will always exist something. One thing my parents taught me when I was young and I was worrying a bit too much about what wasn't going right in life, they made me write a list. I listed all the things that were going good in life, like, you know, oh, I have a roof over my head, I'm in, in a, an education I like, I have good friends around me, blah, blah, blah. And then I wrote another list with all the things that were bad. And it makes you realize in a very pedagogical way that usually you only have a few problems or a couple of problems or something like that that you over-focus on and everything else is going quite nicely. Um, we have a tendency to over-focus on negative things as humans. Uh, yay brains. But I suppose the end message is uh, love yourself. It is very important. Don't punish yourself. The world is hard enough as it is. Uh, my ex thought the eggs in my ovaries had shells on them. And I think about that every time a man makes a decision on women's bodies. It's like, it's like a little egg carton. <laughs> If you shake it too much, they will break. For years, I thought women peeing out of their vajuja and not the CLIT. However, I don't make decisions about women's bodies, so it doesn't matter. Oh no, oh, 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 oh right. well, I guess, okay, okay, so I'm gonna move on now. I now have pictures on my uterus, and I would think it would be hilarious if I sent them to creepy dudes. Uh, I would love a look. Why? I, I like looking at the booba. And uterus isn't a booba. <laughs> If you really try, everything is a booba. Oh, online texting, what would we do without you? Surely he knows they don't grow forever, right? Request. Looking for a creator with naturally growing honkers. I am looking for a female creator who has natural honka donka workers, which are currently growing without surgery. Specifically, I am looking for someone who enjoys the growth and wants to keep getting bigger. What, do you think it's like anacondas? You know, they just keep, keep growing the... The older you get, is that, is that the logic here? Bobas or anacondas? Well, that, that's a conspiracy I've ever heard one. Dating apps based on ideology are pointless, because women are biologically engineered to be differential to men, which is to say, if the lady of your courting respects you at all, she'll start thinking exactly like you after six months of going out or so. Hopefully she doesn't adopt the punctuation methods. Oh dear God. I always love these wild takes that come from like odd bubbles online. And one thing that always freaks me out a little bit, why stuff like this gets so popular, is that most of the time, these kind of bubbles, they start off with something that is like slightly true. Right? They start off with like a smidgen of truth that is like a bit of a, okay, it's a bit of like a fact check or a haha to the wholesomeness norm or something. And then they just go completely bananas. But because they had a slight point in that first argument, everyone believes everything about it. And it just becomes this weird, like, uh, I, I, I don't know, conspiracy bubble, but for like biology and relationships. It's really wild. I don't think I've ever gone out with someone who just copied my opinions on everything after six months. Oh no, does this mean I'm a beta? Uh, uh! If my baby girl is being breastfed, will her odds of being lesbian increase? How do I make it stop? <laughs> <laughs> Are we really gonna go down the homophobic route where we like stop feeding kids because be because of the gayness? Is that... Is that where we're going? Oh no, this is the male writing. My wife and I just had a girl. Her first one was a boy. He's now three years old and he was breastfed. I have no problem with the breastfeeding. Ah, yes, because it makes him hyper straight. That's, the, but, but for the girl, it's not good. Now with the baby girl, I figured she would be breastfed too. I had no problems with that until I saw her being breastfed. It's been about two weeks and I can't get rid of this feeling. She's going to turn out to be a lesbian. She really attacks my wife's, um, 
body parts? More than my boy when he was a baby. Why are you going in descriptive details about this online? This is... What? It just doesn't seem right, and I can't tell but wonder if this is how lesbians are made. <laughs> oh my, I did not see that coming. I fear she will be a lesbian if she isn't bottle fed. Does anyone have any advice or experience here? Is this an act of lesbianism? Ah, that hardcore religion with zealots. <gasps> lesbianism. Should I say paste to my wife for what she's doing to my child? Oh, this is just, this is just so many layers of just, of just... No, please, why? The argument is getting intense. I hate the idea of someone's being forced into my baby girl. Uh, oh. Well, if I had any smidgen of hope left for humanity, it's uh, it's definitely gone now. I mean, I suppose I suppose in modern context there are like alternatives or whatever, but but wouldn't this mean like historically that you know every single woman literally would just have been a lesbian? Where does the logic come into play here? It, it's this is so weird to me. Why the rampant like scaredness of, of who your daughter is or going to be or or whatever? This is just so many. Is this real? I hope this really isn't real. Please be a troll. My secret to making condoms more comfortable is telling men how badly I want a baby. That is smart. That is really freaking smart. Ah shite! He knows I've had a hysterectomy. What do I do now? Tell him it grew back. Sounds like a thing a lot of men might believe. When my aunt got a hysterectomy, my uncle famously asked if they could tie her tubes at the same time. <laughs> ah, family. I am a 13-year-old girl doing it with a 19-year-old one, and, and I got prego, and when I told him, uh, he then confessed to me that he was doing it with another girl. The problem is we don't know if the child is half his or half hers, because the eggs would still be on the pee-pee. I have at least three or four questions about this post, and I think I'm going to refrain from asking all of them. Thank you. Unavailable Tampax. Tampax Pearl Tampons? Mm, that's a shame, but we have a substitute product that we just know is going to work just as well. Substitution. Whole white mushroom, 16 ounces. Mm -hmm, you see, it's like a bluish package and they're white. Must be the same thing, just... just, <laughs> just maybe they're a little bit absorbent, right? The, maybe... It's, Oh dear god! If lesbians are born lesbians, why do they still need to get a period if they weren't made for the male splooshies? Oh, that's, that's a very yucky way of saying it, but also... <laughs> it's just a choice, right? Ladies, why don't you just choose not to? Why is it so hard? <laughs> it's so wild to me. Why... Where do opinions like these come from? Like, where do they breed? We need to find the nest and exterminate it. It's scary! <laughs> what? Do you fart? I think everyone does. Mm, pretty ladies don't. Literally everyone farts. No, elegant ladies don't. Could you imagine Kira Knightley or Kate Middleton farting? Do, do you even know what a fart is? <laughs> uh, I would I would say no. It's not the fart that kills you, it's the smell. Which is really funny because those words in Swedish means speed and kashmakadoodle. So it's like, it's like, it's not, it's not the speed that kills you. It's the fact that it stops abruptly. But in, <laughs> in Swinglish, it, it's just really farty. Wow, that was funny. That landed well. I think it's pretty gross, people breastfeed. It's not milk, it's bodily fluids. What do you mean? Like, yeah, sure, it's a bodily fluid, but you know, they're different. That's like, that's like the upper grander category of, of stuff that can come out of your body. That doesn't mean that it's one or another. <laughs> Might as well feed your little one your pee! Mmm, nutritious pee! We have bottles and formula that's meant to feed your baby. Then how did it work out through the entirety of history, hmm? Stop giving your body fluid a classy name by calling it milk. It is not milk! Milk comes from cows! It is almost like saying almonds make milk. Idiots everywhere! You posted this online in such amazing abundance of confidence while also calling everyone else an idiot. It's, it, wow, it's like doubling down, like, a quadruple amount. It's absolutely amazing. The C-L-I-T isn't a physical thing. It is a figure of speech. He can't find my C-L-I-T. Which is a code for he can't make me uh, pleasurable. Stop looking for an actual C-L-I-T. It is not there. <laughs> you see, it's all about poetry. It's just women speaking their weird language without saying what they really mean. <laughs> Silly. It's very puzzling how dudes think a female personal space get looser from being with 50 guys, but wouldn't get looser from being with one guy 50 times. No, no, you see, you see, that would be facts and logic, and, and that would be, that would be difficult. <laughs> 
Fake whistleblower Edward Snowden man wife Lindsay, please stop retweeting shills into my feed. Uh, Lindsay Mill Snowden is a man. I mean, Jesus, the internet has given us so much beautiful things, right? It's communication and keeping in touch with loved ones, the work opportunities, the digitization, the storage of things, or just entertainment or media or whatever. And then you have the conspiracies that are just blooming like a nice little bacterial infestation. Oh, yes, indeed. Girls actually go to work and school with cramps. They can be in a lot of pain, but still act normal throughout the day. I heard those that feel pain is because they did a lot of na naughty things that I don't want to read out, and that's, that's apparently a theory. What do you think is harder to shave? A peepee? -pee? I have a peepee. -pee. A vulva? I have a peepee. -pee. A peepee? -pee? I have a vulva. A vulva? I have a vulva. I don't know results. One, <laughs> what the frick is a vulva? <laughs> Two, where's the option for nutsack? Because that's the hardest thing ever to shave. And three, who the frick shaves the peepee? -pee? Huh? Oh dear, okay, well... <laughs> I mean, sure, it's not like a big fussy snack, if that's what you mean. I mean, fine, but I think they're referring to, like, the, the, the whole shebang, I would assume. But it's kind of an interesting result. So so throughout, like, the, the PP people, it's basically 50-50. But throughout the, the vulva people, it's like an abundance of, of the vulva votes. That's kind of an interesting statistic. Not enough votes to, like, draw any, like, significant conclusions from it. But I would like to see a poll like that made in, like, a broader uh, sample. That'd be kind of interesting. You aren't supposed to take a bath when you're prego. Uh, what? Yes, you can. That's an old wives' tale. Pregnant women can also raise their arms above their head and drink coffee in moderation. It changes the pH of your vajuje, and obigen will literally tell you this. I, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> At least they're not saying that the baby's gonna drown, you know. that That's something I've seen going around online too, which is just equally wild. If I was a girl, I would just post myself without a bra and white shirt and bam, I'm now famous. Some of us don't have the boobas. Go to the gym, bozo! Ah, uh, yes. The boob curls. Or just do some bench press, you know? When you look at Arnold's old videos, he got big bahonka zorkers. You just do the same thing. It's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> we have bodybuilding over here, and then we have the subsection, which is the female bodybuilding, also known as boob building. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. Don't believe me? I don't understand why. American lad, look, it's a whammon. Birth control belly. Just a fertile woman with good uter uterine. All right, with good uterine blood flow. You know that people read this, right? Some sometimes I'm flabbergasted by the fact that some people say certain things, and it seems like they don't have the self awareness of how it's being interpreted by anyone who would overhear the conversation. You know? Could you imagine having this conversation over a table? Ah, oh, you see her the other side of the table. My my sister-in-law, she has a birth control belly. It's like, oh my god, you'll be thrown out or age hard. It's, it's, it's so bad. I have got a real cursed bad women's anatomy story. I am in an EMT class and we learned how to place an airway in an unconscious person. By using a plastic device, we keep the throat unobstructed. Our instructor asked the class, what kind of patient has no gag reflex? The answer being an unconscious patient because every conscious person has some degree of gag reflex. One of the adult men in my class responded, FEMALES! This guy thought all women have no gag reflex. I, uh, feel like I've lost my mind. Okay, he's, I think he spends a little bit too much time in in the basement watching watching a certain hub website and, and, and taking it a bit little too bit literal. It's not documentaries, you know? Okay, it's, it's not documentaries. Lizzie on her nip slash tuck. My new vajuje so tight it squeaks when I walk. What is... That's... That's... What? She tells Closer she's enjoying the best intimate life of her life as she enjoys her surgically enhanced super vajuje. I don't, I, I don't, I don't want to, I don't, really don't want to read this, but also, like, am, am I the only one who's thinking, like, uh, Spongebob square pant boots, you know? <laughs> is it, is that, is that a good, uh, it's the, wh why, why is, the, why is, the, mm, I'm, no. Because you were born into this holly weird lie, you failed to see the obvious, hidden in plain sight. Look at this, there is a skeleton here, and one is male and one is female, and oh my god, here is a stock photo of a man and a woman, and the woman is slightly taller in heels than the man, but that doesn't add up with the skeletons. How do you explain this, science? Huh? You see, women aren't real. No, not real. 
There's also the very simple explanation that male and female heights are normally distributed, but of course there is some kind of overlap between these two normal distributions. See, if you pick a man on the shorter side of the spectrum and a woman on the taller side of the spectrum, they'll probably, you know, be opposite of what this uh, skeleton implies. So I, I, <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to prove. The skeletons are probably mapped after like average height or something. Like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> It's not literal. If you have a vajuje, you can you can fit stuff up there. Just a thought. But honestly, just put in a different med bottle. The likelihood of them inspecting individual pills at customs is so low. Oh, Jesus, that's not how pills or vajujes work. What the frick? Also, Adderall is neon blue. Hard to hide as anything else. I hate that that's such a, that's such a weird thing you always saw in, like, comedy 20 or 10 years ago. It's, yeah, good, good times, baby. Like, men have orifices, too. Would it really be that, <laughs> that comfortable? Probably not. Reminds me of the first Rick and Morty episode. <laughs> Gotta fit him way up into your butt, Morty. Way up there. If women ever smarten up enough to give birth to 9 out of 10 births female, they could own the planet. But they're just not smart enough to do it. What, do you think it's a switch? This, like, boy or girl? <laughs> okay. I also love the, like, slight, slight uh, intonation that, oh, yes, all the females are just a hive mind, so if they were the majority, but also, they're not smart enough to do it. This is, oh, my God. And the worst part is that people writing this always think they're so, so, oh, no, please, no. Male authors do tend to be obsessed with female bodies, going on and on about webbed feet and soft, insulated, oh, oh, I'm sorry, that's male otters. Otters! I love otters, oh my, if it was legal, I would have a pet otter, it's, they're so freaking cute, man. Do you know that they hold hands when they sleep so they don't drift away from each other? That's, there's like couple goals right there. Jab the one. When a woman tells a story, they usually start with a point of it, assuming it has a point which most often it doesn't. We men, on the other hand, the factual-minded sex, know how to tell a story properly. We always start, uh, uh, start at the beginning. I don't know, I've met people that are grossly unpedagogical of, of any gender. I don't think it's that specific, fam, I'm just gonna be honest. Because they actually know that they are in the wrong. No, no, doing that will be a minus. Women are emotional creatures. It's useless to talk to them using rational reasons. How much their distortion will the man forgive? Women are consistently testing men. Because they think the degree of distortion forgiven is how much they are loved. This is just like... <laughs> Playing weird games I have made up in my mind one of one and pretending it's a legitimate source. Nice! And the boobash. These have perhaps lost some of the tone post-mortem. I'm sorry, where is this going? For they sagged to the side and that and were mottled and marbled. You are literally describing the Bahanka dorkers on a corpse. This is a corpse. Please respect the dead. Thank you. Firm athletes, Bobas. Mm, she is lithe as a cat with long neck, muscular shoulders, and new bile, Bobas. Mm, yes, indeed. I'm a little bit, bit of a poet, a little tradition myself, if I may say so myself, and I do. Men having babies? A walk in the park next to what most men could endure. But whatever. What, walk it. What? What is this? <laughs> this is out of context. What? When my ex took my virginity, he said he didn't think I was a virgin because he thought he had to make the opening himself. He was 24. What? What? Like a coal miner? <laughs> yeah, he just he just grab a little pick. It's like, oh, don't worry, baby. I'll be gentle. Ah, <sighs> <sighs> young love. Then uh, yours is black, right? Uh, what? I mean, youth cat is black. Uh, no, the frick. Why? Why would it be what? Darkens when you have intimate activity with too many men. No, it doesn't. What's this? It just changes co what? <laughs> what? The, where did you hear about this? What kind of water does she drink? She cannot be 33. Oh my god, aging goes. Does everyone except women turn into Prince Philip once we hit 30 or <laughs> what? <laughs> Their faces don't, but the uteruses do. I'm sorry, they turn into Prince Philip? Uterus is turned into Prince Philip after 30? Women don't go into menopause until around 50 usually. What? I didn't say anything about menopause. After 30, your chance of delivering a healthy baby begin to drop dramatically every subsequent year. No, please, please, don't die on this hill. Please, please. Women over 30 are usually able to deliver a healthy baby just fine, man. And you really shouldn't dump women or people down to baby-making machines. You're not gonna pick a woman over 30 to carry your children if you could pick a woman under 30. Simple biology. Ah. Uh, you say picking like you're purchasing a new fridge. 
hypothetically speaking. <laughs> Come on, there are so, so many hills you can die on, and you chose this. Oh my, no. Also, you're not gonna pick a woman. Come, come on, you, you're sitting with arguments like this, and you mean to, you mean to, come on, I... <sighs> Am I the bot for suggesting to my GF she could work out a little at the gym to get a bigger chest? <gasps> We're here again! Is it the booba curls? Oh my god, I'm so here for this. My girlfriend has pretty small badonkas, which I don't really mind that much. But she recently asked me what type of them I like. And since I was going to be honest, I told her usually big ones, like D cup or more. She seemed a bit sad about it, and then asked me if I still liked her, and I said of course, and told her hers were fine too. She said it's not like she could do anything to get bigger ones anyway, except for surgery, and asked me if I wanted that. Oh no. I told her if she wanted surgery, I'd support her, but she didn't have to get it for me. Also, I said she could just go to the gym and do more bench press and stuff. <laughs> then she would get bigger ones too. She said she had never heard about that and claimed it wasn't true. I said plenty of guys who did it had big ones like Arnold. <laughs> so she could do it too? I think she just doesn't want to put in the work. Am I the butt? Yes. Yes. What do you mean, small boobas? You haven't done your boob curls. You are lazy. Do you hear that, fellas? If a woman has the small bahubas, it means she lazy. Out of all the wild, like, correlation takes I've seen today, this is... Uh... Th this, this one might take the cake. Females don't look nearly as good as men. They need makeup and all that. They are word men by deception. That is makeup. I think you're conflating certain things, perhaps. More men are victims of female R-word than the other way around. Yeah, sure, if you count makeup at- dear- y oh my god. Women do all the surgeries, booba jobs, nose job. When they hit 30, their ovaries shrivel into dry plums and they're unusable. The Jujays are also looking very creepy and I hope I never see one. PPs are more aesthetically pleasing. Edit, stop calling me gay! I am just a PP admirer! I don't- <laughs> I don't know, man, but in most contexts, I think PP Admirer would be kind of synonymous with with the guy here. Um, you might have some some figuring out to do, but best of luck to you. And we'll pay some brisket meats that hanging off her knee. Furthermore, lets me know that th she's intimately uh, good and seasoned to perfection. What, what a woman. <laughs> Are straight people insane? Um, sometimes, yeah. It's a little da bubby. What's the harm in feeding him? He is obviously hungry. Either let him feed or give him to his mother and let her do it. Women, as with all female mammals, so far as I'm aware, can only produce milk after a pregnancy. So unless the aunt just so happens to have also recently had a child, the kid is getting no milk from auntie. Randomly pass it in between family members that have nothing to do with the baby. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, uh, yeah, sure. Doesn't work like it does in anime. You know what would be helpful? A pair of fake silicon boobas with various examples of cancerous lumps inside of them so women can feel what they're looking for. That would actually be such a good idea. Oh my god, this is genuine. And it's such a simple thing to do. It's not even an expensive product. That would be amazing. Damn. Cara Delevingne has a male skull. She's a he. I based this on this little plastic skull I found at a stock photo website. <laughs> I am doing science. Here's also Ellie Fanning. Very long male neck. Male skull. Look at that. Obviously, I am, I am so good at scientific methodology. I look at a picture and I pull things out of my butt. It is a very, very impressive skill. The age hierarchy of women's relevance. 16 to 21, peak reproductive years, certified lemon... I don't, I don't know what that means. 22 to 27, getting a little long in the tooth, but still good for a... Okay, but this is now or never stage in terms of marriage. 22 to 27, most people are like in uni, holy what? 28 to 34, that is officially the throwaway stage. At this point, they're absolutely non-viable as a marriage prospect because they've accumulated too many bodies and baggage. Wouldn't this be true, the, like, the other way around, too? In that case, that seems to be, like, the norm when people settle down, at least in, like, my generation. Like, wh what? 35 plus, why are you even alive? <laughs> ah, yes, I am the ripe age of 35. I had my children at 10, so they are perfect adults now, and they will also die within five years. So, like, better, better just, better just 
Live fast, die really old because 35 is apparently really old, and leave a horribly disfigured corpse. Heck yeah. Now that you've been given the official ranking of a woman's worth and overall relevance as a human being- Oh, that sounds so incredibly gross. Please make your decisions accordingly. I think I will probably never refer to this for anything apart from things not to do. Thank you very much, good sir. In completely normal news, a doctor just told me I am not in pain due to a herniated disc compressing my sciatic nerve and spinal bone spine. But because I'm emotionally damaged, because I had a hysterectomy before I had children and never got married. Oh, and also because I don't understand my own feelings about being childless, <laughs> unmarried, and uterusless, because I'm not introspective enough to have examined my feelings, which is news to my entire body of work. Can you imagine going to the. Oh my, I mean, some people don't have to imagine. That is so freaking sad. Just going to the doctor and be like, hi, I think my spine is messed up. And like, mm, have you just considered you are sad because you aren't married? <laughs> I would not be the only one in the room needing medical attention after that. Oh dear God. The signs of women are no longer virgin. <gasps> it's a scientific article. Let's dig into it together, shall we? Virginity is a secret thing that women sometimes hide from you as their partner. Blah, 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 blah. You can recognize. Recognize whether your partner is a virgin or not without uh, uh, having to ask directly. That was a lot of BS coming out. And take a good look at the following. Number one, forehead. The virgin girl has a smooth forehead. After the naughties, smooth, smooth face will disappear and bring up some wrinkles, lines. Wrinkles are different from wrinkles in their elderly. The line cannot be removed by lotion or oil. No, it's just, that goes for everyone. After a certain point, it's not like you can lotion away it. If you're 70 plus, you can't just lotion it away. It is not easy to see, but you can see when they laugh or speak. <sighs> if I want to go the fallacy route on this and be like really math nerd about it, I can say like, yeah, there is probably a correlation between freaking this and, you know, losing your virginity, because both typically correlate with age, but it's a fallacy in the way that they're not a causating factor. So, uh, no. Number two is nose. If the nose tip of the couple is reddish, then she is still a virgin. Indeed, sometimes the color will not be easily visible. However, women who have naughty stuff going on, the red color will disappear. Okay, so what happens if you if you just get burnt in the sun? Do you, like, regain your virginity? Is that how it works? Three, eye. When the lower part of the eyelid is folded slightly. This is... <laughs> They just make up a bunch of stuff up. It's like, hey, what, how many things are on the face? Let's just make something up about one individ each individual part. Why? Four bahonka dorkers. Bahonka dorkers of a virgin girl is always upright and hard. Hard. That's... Like, like... That kind... Okay. Five. Finger. Try holding your partner's little finger. After about a minute, let go and ask how it feels. If he says... He's... Was it women or- Okay, anyway, he says that he feels nothing. It's possible that he is no longer a virgin. A virgin girl- This is- Oh my- They did- This text is such a mess, man. A virgin girl will say that she feels tense, palpitations, or hiccups when the little finger is held. Okay, let's demonstrate this now. Let's demonstrate this. So, imagine that I am a virgin girl. Okay, check this out. <laughs> and if I'm not a virgin- you see the difference? It's called sci- No, it's not. It's- it's comp- <laughs> It's such poo-poo. She has hair on her butt? Ugh, disgusting. What kind of whammon is she? My wife never had any hair in her vagine or butt. Never. They never grow and they never had. She is smooth, so beautiful. You all must be jealous of my wife with your disgusting, hairy stuff. Oh, that is so sad. Like, either your wife grooms herself very nicely for you and it's something you should appreciate. And, and you know, hopefully do in kind, you know, as, as the kind of couple you, you seem to be. Or, or, she, or she did something with lasers. One way or another, it's probably a lot of effort for her intimate partner, which you should appreciate from her instead of shaming others, perhaps. This is the least mature comment I think I've ever seen from someone who allegedly has a wife. Dear God. Don't spend hours in a gym to reduce inner thigh and personal body part fat. Eight exercises that will melt your inner thigh and uh, vajujay fat. What? Okay, okay, men. I know that we have talked a lot about women, but I have not forgotten about you, dear male viewers. Okay, let's go down our biological hellhole too, shall we? Here is a virginity pee-pee. Look at that banana. Here is a pee-pee after one partner, you see? It's a little bit poopy, but it's still fine. Here is a pee-pee after two partners and doing a lot of self-stuff and- Oh my god, it's getting dots everywhere. Here's a pee-pee after three partners. It's just completely scrumpled and- Oh no- Oh! Oh, how could this happen? Please! Why is it not- 
yellow anymore. Well, Vadis, Lasses and Lassos, thank you so much for watching this video, even though it might have been slightly painful from time to time. I do hope to see you again in the very near future and do have an amazing rest of your day because you do deserve it. Take care. Mwah.